Alright, so long time no see. Hey, it's been a while and I have quite a few updates to give you guys. Some very exciting ones actually. Let's start with the best news I've gotten since my last video. I have gotten a postdoc. I have a research position set up for when I finish my thesis and my PhD. It's a research position in Southampton, so it is quite far away from where I am at the moment. But it's a really good position at a really good university and I am incredibly excited for it. I still do not have the full contract details, but I believe it's going to be a two-year position. For the next two years I have a project to work on and own my skills in research. Can I just say, I got a chance to read the references that my supervisors gave to the recruitment team in Southampton and my goodness were they so kind to me. It's. Uh, it's really a privilege to have such good supervisors on my side that appreciate my work. But yeah, I've been here in Essex for the last seven years now. I did my bachelor's here and I immediately started my PhD at the same university. And I genuinely feel like a change is needed. I think I'm way too young to stay at the same place for so long, especially because the city I live in isn't particularly inspiring. Maybe it's because I've been living in student accommodation for so long, but I think a change will do me really good. Apart from these amazing news, I actually don't have that much to say. What I've been working on is my thesis. I now have a set deadline that I need to finish it by in order to get this position. I am quite confident since I have like four papers, two of them are published, the other two, well, a bit shit, but we'll work on them. But it does add a bit of pressure that, oh, you have to finish by this day and there's gonna be moving and it's gonna be long. But at the same time, yeah, I am over the moon about it. But you know, despite this amazing news, the last few weeks have been a bit rocky. Nothing bad in particular happened, but I've just been feeling a bit restless and probably anxious. Maybe it's because of this uncertainty about how the future is going to shape out until I just recently got this uh, offer. But I feel like I've been letting myself go a bit in terms of my routine and uh, self-care. Don't get me wrong, I still go to the gym, I still eat healthfully, I still do my skincare of course. But I felt like I wasn't enjoying those things. Even the gym, which you guys know is like my ivory tower of enjoyment is always what starts out my days. Even those sessions weren't being as fulfilling as before. So I've been taking the time to get more focused again and enjoying those little things that usually make my life happy and fulfilled and it's been going well I've been feeling really much better the gym today for example was quite good I spent like two hours and a half in there because it was leg day and I was filming it gets long very long now for today and probably for the next few months all I'm gonna be working on is my thesis so I hope you enjoy seeing me write a lot I'm I'm running up stones on the edge of the bank Rally the troops for another refrain I sing this softly to myself I sing this softly to myself
So I just had my weekly meeting where I give an update to my supervisor and my team of what I've been working on. It's actually quite nice because we all talk about things that we've been working on and usually that sparks a lot of innovation, even though that most of the time is, oh, I could do that and we could do that with that and none of it comes to fruition because we're all just so incredibly busy. But anyway, I've been doing good strides on my thesis. Basically, my supervisor said that I should have a lot more references and this is a problem I have. References, related work. Because you see, when you start a PhD, your first work, maybe even first publication, first paper, it's usually a related work, a survey of the current literature. However, I was lucky and unfortunate enough that my first paper wasn't a literary review, it was actually proposing something new, a novel approach to the literature, which is fantastic, right? You are able to contribute with a whole new algorithm for solving this particular problem. But on the other hand, it means that a lot of the foundations of uh, my field and a lot of the key references that allow you to expand to other references are missing from my library. To aggravate all the papers that came afterwards, including the one that just got published, are also trying to propose new algorithms. None of them is a survey, so I kind of have to do this related work section from scratch, apart from the little bits that are present in those papers for my thesis. So there's a lot of writing, a lot of chasing references, a lot of annotating, which is nice. It's chill to just be able to sit down and read some papers, but on the other hand, it'd be nice if I had done more work on it during my PhD. But to be fair, if I have to choose between proposing something new and a survey, I would go with proposing something new 100% of the time. So it's really a non problem. The second term of this last year is gonna finish on the 21st of April and I have to submit something for my panel meeting then. It's not the full final thesis obviously, but I want to show that I'm close to finishing or at least I'm on the right path to finishing, especially because I cannot take the full third term. My new position will be starting on the 1st of August. So I really need to get this as close to completion as possible, if possible, completely completed by then.